YouTubers, family and friends. Another beautiful evening again here in the Philippines, Northwest Mindanao Island, in the south of the Philippines. Um, we just got back from the city this morning in our Toyota van right there. The reason I choose white for vehicle color is because it's the highly, most highly visible color. It's statistically been proven that if you have a white paint on your vehicle, you will get in less accidents than any other color of vehicle. It's just a proven fact. So that's why I have white vehicles, because they're highly visible. People can see you much better in any lighting conditions and are less apt to accidentally turn into you or to hit you. It's just a proven fact. So there you go on, on the color of vehicles. And uh, it's getting toward uh, 4.30, going on 4.45 p.m. here on the 22nd of May, 2024. And I'm here at the Golden Palace in, like I say, the island of Mindanao. It's further south from China. Actually, Mindanao is, is an island that's the biggest island in the Philippines and it's uh, the most remote because it's a, like an hour and a half flight from the capital of the Philippines to Dipolo is the closest city to where I'm at, where I'm at, which is like an hour and 15 minutes approximately drive from the airport in Dipolo City to where my homestead is here in the deep jungle. And it's only been this last year where we've gotten a decent uh, road out in front of our house and that connects to the main national highway that goes through our municipality of Rizal. And uh, it used to take, from Depolo to here, it used to take about two and a half to three hours, depending on weather conditions and traffic, because that's how bad the road conditions were at that time just terrible when I when I first arrived here uh, nine years ago and now we're starting to get all the old roads are now improved to real good wider two-lane or four-lane roads depending on what road you're on and there's not many roads in the Philippines because most of the land in the Philippines of course they're all islands 7,000 different islands you can get lost very easily in the Philippines most of the islands uh, you have to get to those islands by boat most of the islands that's the only way you can get there is by boat and then when you do get there most of those islands don't even have a road they might you'd be lucky if they have a you have a tote trail or a little trail for motorcycles or Carabao. That's most of the islands of 7,000. That's how easy you can get lost by coming to the Philippines. You know, fly into an airport, then, fl you know, in Manila. Usually, an international airport is only Manila or Cebu. Cebu's the second biggest city in the Philippines, and that's in the central islands which is your Vis Visaya states. It's the state of Visaya, right? It's, it's Luzon, Visayas, which is all your islands in the middle of, of Luzon to the north and Mindanao where I'm at in the south. Those are your three states. And then there's provinces within every island, there's many provinces and then many municipalities. And then your smallest form of of government structure is your barangay. So that's what you got in the Philippines. So only three states, where the U.S. has 50 states, right? And then in, in the states of the U.S., you have counties. And here, it's not counties, it's provinces. Uh, 
so that's kind of how that works. So, uh, like I say, that God told me to come here to the Philippines, of how bad it was getting in the, in the U.S. And my first marriage failed in divorce. And in my second marriage, my wife died of cancer. And I had two children by my first wife, two children by my second wife. And now my third wife is, is a Filipina when God told me to come to the Philippines. And we, we have one child together. So I have five children. I'm 60 years old. I'm retired, I'm an expat living in the Philippines. And I get all my remittances through uh, either WISE or Zoom. And Zoom is spelled X-O-O-M, okay? And those are the two ways I get money from my U.S. Ba bank in the U.S. And every time I get a deposit, a direct deposit, then I have either Zoom or WISE transfer that into either through WISE, it transfers into my wife, my Filipino wife's bank account. I don't have a bank account in the Philippines, only in the U.S. So through WISE, it's an app on my phone, W-I-S-E. That's how I get money from my bank account in the U.S. to her bank account, which is BDO, in the Philippines. And then using Zoom, X-O-O-M, it's a PayPal service, right? I can get cash instantly delivered, and WISE is instantly also delivered into her bank account, but then you have to go drive to the bank and then withdraw. Uh, but through Zoom, you can get your, you can have your money transferred either to a Philippines bank account in pesos, or you can go to any one of thousands and thousands of pawn shops in the Philippines. And we go to El Mulier or Palawan Pawn, one of those two. That's in our municipality. We just drive a couple kilometers from here and we can go there and give them our code number that, that Zoom gives you. And you give them the code number and your form of ID, and I put it in my wife's name, so my wife goes in, and she's the one that comes out with the cash. And then, uh, so I don't keep much of a balance in any bank. You know, I, I, we use or we have a way of securing cash, and that's what we do. And not only cash, but physical I mean because physical in your hand cash if you don't have it in your hands you don't own it and you don't possess it and it's not yours so if you have any statement from any bank any statement for any stockbroker any statement for anywhere where you've given your money into your so-called account you don't own it believe me that uh, I mean you can argue with me all day long but unless it's in your physical hand you don't own it and you don't have it because it's all just figures on a piece of paper and the paper the whole paper world is crumbling fast guys so if you don't believe in it and e even the cash that you have in your hand that that currency that fiat fake currency that's that governments have the license to print as much as they want of it that that whole system's going f away fast too but when the whole collapse comes, your cash that you have, it's gonna last for a little while, but not long. So I would say within the first couple weeks that you have the system collapse, you better use up all your cash because it'll be deemed in a short period of time that it's worthless. That's what, then you'll only have things to bargain with. The only thing that you'll be able to bargain with is Cows, chickens, any kind of food that, especially that is canned food or that'll last a long, long time, you know? And you'll be able to also barter, if you have chickens, you'll be able to barter with eggs or barter with live chickens and cows, stuff like that, right? You'll be able to barter with that kind of stuff, guys. And then in some cases, depending on how big it is, you'll be able to barter with gold and silver coins also or gold uh, jewelry. And one thing about 
you know, it's hard to believe in the U.S. and some of the first world countries, but in the in the East or Southeast Asia, where we are here in the Philippines, gold is very, very, very common to be used every day in trading for goods and services. Mostly it's used to uh, acquire cash, and then that cash is used for for services, right? But once the cash goes away, that gold and silver will be used and bartered with, be used to barter for whatever you need. And I'm telling you, that's the way it is in the Middle East, in the East, in Asia, China, all these Asian countries, guys, that's the way it is. Uh, so, and it's been like that for thousands of years, right? So plan on having that stuff in your possession. Uh, next thing is you want to have food stocks. It's probably well, food and water. That's your most important thing. And that's what we do here on my homestead. Uh, we prep and we, we, we're prepping as believers to help those that are not believers when the system collapses. Because people are going to be panicking. They're going to be uh, starving to death. And then once the system collapses, there'll be disease. Disease that spreads like wildfire. So that's why I have a compound here surrounded with a, a 10 to 20 foot uh, wall spiked. And therefore it's a place of security. So if you know anyone that comes here and wants to help, uh, you know, accept Christ as their savior, and we can give them a leg up, help them, uh, have a plan and a tight-knit community where we can all help each other in Christ, right? In Christ first, and then in, in order to survive physically, and then just follow God's word. That's number one, number one. There ain't nothing more important other than family. Like my lovely wife, Filipino wife here. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, see, she's so sorry already. Because I, I did Oh, okay, I love you. I'm not perfect, huh? Uh, no one perfect. I love you too. Don't, don't, don't worry. I'm gonna make up more pops. Oh, okay. So she's gonna make popsicles. So see, we all have our problems. We all make mistakes. We all have a sin. But why? That's why we have Christ. We can go to Christ. We can ask for forgiveness. And then, if anybody asking to forgiveness for you. You always forgive them, always. Why? Because Christ's gonna forgive us of our sins. That's just the way it is in life. You're gonna have problems. And the, the Satan and the devil is gonna be in your mind and tempting and tantalizing and deceiving you and get, trying to get you to do wrong all the time. But what do you do? You fight, you fight, you fight. And it's good to surround yourself with other, other believers because they can strengthen you. Uh, I don't like churches. I know you, I know that you're supposed to, you should be a part of a church, but a church is just a gathering of believers, right? So that's where people get mixed up when in the Bible it says belong to a church. A church is not a religion, right? It's not a religion. Don't get that mixed up, guys. Religions have a lot of man's laws and, and ordinances and statutes. We don't care about man's stuff. We don't care about man's what, huh? Careless? We are, yes, we all After careless. After I say sorry to you, then, I'm, then my brain become messed up of that because of your love. Get through to my Ooh. heart, and now I'm forgetting the right one that I need. Oh, uh, you're going to be fine, yes, huh? So don't pay attention to man's laws. They're going to be, you know, they're going to be uh, putting a fire at you all the time, man's laws. Don't listen to them. Listen to God's laws. That's in the end, that's all that's gonna matter, guys. So whatever man is putting a burden on you to do this, you must do this, you must do that. Get out of the system, get out of the system, get away from man's laws, get lost in one of the 7,000 islands of the Philippines, hint, hint. So that's your clue, guys. Get out of the system and get under God's law and get away from man's law because what is man's law going to tell you? Do this. It's safe and effective. <laughs> I'm, 
<laughs> I'm serious, guys. Safe and effective. You're going to be fine. Oh, if you need help, come to us. We'll give you something that's safe and effective. <laughs> I just pray you all out there that are watching this have learned a big lesson of that. That I've been trying to warn people for years. But you know what? Goes in one ear and out the other because everybody bows up and everyone has a hardening of their hearts. If someone else trying to tell them something or give them advice or give them a clue of God's word, they're going to harden their hearts right away almost every time. Even other so-called believers are going to harden their hearts against other, other believers because they think their way is the right way or this certain pastor or this certain priest told them that was the truth, right? I'm telling you guys, don't listen to me. Don't listen to your, your family. Don't listen to your friends. I mean, it's okay to listen to them in respect, but don't believe it, what they're telling you, until you prove it with God's Word, the Bible. If it, if what, all these people are human beings that are mostly persuaded by evil, right, either ignorantly or maliciously, they are trying to tell you something that's contrary to God's Word, because they, God, uh, Satan wants to lead you astray. And the Satan has most people by the gonads, right? They leading them down the primrose trail, where their ear is tingling of, of things that they like to hear, right? What what do people like to hear? Oh, only have to do this and you'll have eternal life. Just say you believe, and that's all you have to do, and you'll have eternal life, and you'll be poofed up into heaven on the rapture. It's all so easy. You know, that's what people want to hear, the easy, lazy way. But the truth is what's in the Bible, which is you must obey God's commandments, all of them, as much as you possibly can, because the more you obey, the more pleased God is going to be with you. And that's the truth. Just read the Bible. Don't believe me. That's what it says. And that's the only truth in this world right now, guys. It's the only truth. So uh, I was just talking to another brother, texting, and he and what's going on right now, and I've heard this from several brothers and sisters now over the last few months, that you know what, the entire Muslim world is on fire for Jesus right now. And I mean on fire. You look at the, uh, uh, what's trending in the Muslim world online, guess what the top trend is, Jesus. I'm telling you guys, not only in the Muslim world, but in Russia, I'm telling you guys, the Jesus is on fire in people's hearts and souls in, in places like Russia, and maybe, I, don't, I haven't heard anything about China, but maybe China too, but uh, Russia and the Muslim world big time, especially Iran. So with this Iranian president so-called killed last week, we don't know if that's true or not, guys. But if that's true, that's like a godsend, really, especially if the, if the, the nation is going in the way of being a believing nation, believing in the real Jesus Christ. That right there is then a nation of God. Think about it, guys. Think about it. You don't have that in the U.S. and the U.K. and in Israel, in the so-called Israel state of Israel anymore. Israel is supposed to be the remnant. People don't know this. There's two kingdoms: Israel in the Bible, Israel from Jacob, right? That's that's God says Jacob. For now on, your name is going to be called Israel, right? And then from there, because of sin the state of Israel back in the day was split into two nations, Judah, or J the tribe of Judah, there's 12 tribes, right? 10 tribes created the nation of Israel, and two tribes, Judah and ben Benjamin, created the nation of Judea. And that's the, today, when you say Jew, the Jewish people, that's from Judea, the nation of Judea, not from and that's only two tribes, right? Judah and Benjamin. 
The other 10 tribes is the state of Israel that were scattered to the four corners of the earth, right? And, and that includes Iran, Russia, all over the world, guys. You know, there's all kinds of stuff happening behind the scenes that you guys have all been brainwashed to believe. And the, the mystery Babylon of evil and the, these satanic people running the countries of the UK, the US, and the so-called state of Israel today, that's your triple Babylon state right there, guys. Period. Period. They've kicked, look at the U.S. They've kicked out all of God's laws. They've kicked out the Ten Commandments out of all the schools, out of all the courthouses, out of the whole nation. And it's an evil, lawless nation now. And the same thing with the U.K. Watch the movie Triple R if you want to know how bad the hatred is from uh, countries like India toward the UK, because the UK used to occupy India back in the day. And the UK used to uh, occupy China back in the day. And Japan back in the day, used to occupy China back in the day. Read your history, guys. The Opium Wars, they totally decimated and, and just treated Chinese like scum, like dogs, slaughtered thousands of them and because they had ships back then very powerful uh, ships they defeated the the chinese in a heartbeat they didn't have a chance right so you guys got to look at the history and and what's going on right now with, with the holy spirit and the, the holy spirit coming down on so many people in the muslim world and in in russia and china and india this stuff's happening right now big time guys there's, and now that this solar eclipse, which foretold the wrath of God coming down on the U.S., which is a, the biggest part of Mystery Babylon, is the U.S. They're the ones that spread this evil and sin all over the world, right? Hollywood, pornography, you name it. You name it. The corruption, uh, the slaughter of innocent people throughout the world, you name it. It comes from the U.S. So now... It's been over 40 days, which is the sign of Jonah, warning for people to repent and the, and the, and the uh, governments of those, these nation, evil, lawless nations of UK, US, and the state of Israel. The state of Israel was created, look it up, guys, created by the Rothschilds, the greatest, most evil cabal money power on the planet for hundreds of years now, guys. That, Israel, state of Israel was created by this evil cabal. So get a clue. Get a clue, guys. There's not very many Christ-believing people in Israel. There are some. Don't get me wrong. There are some. But the majority are not. Okay. So I got a, I got a good one for you here. And this is going to be the thumbnail title of this video. And, and I heard this a couple times here within the last month, and it's dead the dead-on truth. And it, if you read the Bible at all, you know that it says so many times in the Bible, if you live by the sword, you'll die by the sword. And it's the same thing with nukes, nuclear bombs. If you use the, use the nuke, you're going to die by the nuke. It's the same exact principle, guys. And who's the only nation on earth that has used nukes to kill and slaughter other people, other human beings on the planet? The only nation that's done it, right? The only nation that's done it, and that's the United States of America. They're the only nation that have used a nuke to slaughter other people in another country on earth. No other country of the nine countries that have a nuclear bomb or nuclear tipped missiles in the, in the world right now the only country that has ever used it on other people is the US and that, that's if you use the nuke you will die by the nuke that's just another of so many prophecies coming from prophets that are out right now saying that the US is doomed you guys get out get out as fast as you can uh, I, God sent me here in the Philippines a long time ago and told me this and many others many many others said escape it's called the second exodus if you're in a nation one of those three nations of babylon get out 
Go to the wilderness. This is the wilderness, guys. Philippines, 7,000 islands. You can disappear or you, and you can live off the land, literally. I have fruits and vegetables here that I just throw a seed like this and in three months I got stuff coming off it if it's a fruit tree. I can throw a seed like this on the ground and in two weeks I got a plant that's a foot high as far as vegetables go. I'm serious. It's almost that easy, guys. That's the temperature that's here all the time, between 75 and 85, and, and it's been up into the low 90s here this last couple weeks because it's just what's the sun the sun is doing right now is just uh unbelievable but so that's why you have to shade some of your gardening areas right make sure some of it's in the shade so it only gets a partial sun and make sure you water every morning you know make sure you got your water drops make sure you have your own well don't need be dependent on other people for your well and uh, i've been looking at these eco flows they're called solar generators, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about them. I'm real close to pulling the trigger on uh, getting a couple of those things so I can set it up in my system so I ha not only have a generator backup, but I also have a battery backup. The only thing is, those things aren't cheap, but they are the gnats, but, I mean, they are nice. Uh, the only thing is they're uh, electronic, and unless you have a Faraday cage around it, if we have a solar CME that hits this part, your part of the world, it could fry it. And it's a lot of money. It's uh, to, to probably run my uh, one air con unit, which is a, like a two and a half ton air con unit, it air cons the whole house. In order to run that, and I got three refrigerators, because I got one in the store, one in the house, and one in the chef kitchen. And the lights and fans that we have, I would probably need to spend 400,000 pesos, which is like 8,000 US dollars. But, and it's just the expense is so high right now. I really don't want to spend that money, guys. I really don't. But you got to look at this too. If the system goes down, you're going to have maybe a week, two at the tops, where, where people are going to accept your fiat currency until, that's, until it's deemed that the fiat currency is no good anymore. That's about how much time you got. So you want to put as much as you can into your infrastructure and your prepping supplies now with this fake fiat currency, because when the system collapses, it's not going to be long where your fiat currency is going to be worthless, guys. And then you're going to have to depend on all the bartering items until they come up with the new system, which is all going to be digital. And I don't know how fast it's going to come, but then it's going to be the 666, right? You can't buy nor sell without taking the mark of the beast. And if you do that, your soul is in forever damnation and, and the door is closed to you, to Christ Jesus and, and eternal salvation. It's completely closed if you ever take that mark, guys. So I'm just telling you, prepare yourselves and, and repent and accept Christ because the door will be closed if, you, if it ever gets to that point and you're starving to death and they say, oh, we're going to give you all the food you want for you and your family and, and you won't starve to death. If you, but all you have to do is take this injected chip in your, in your uh, wrist or your hand or your forehead or this tattoo or whatever they end up using guys and that is what's coming there's been so many prophecies on that it ain't even funny guys and it even it's printed in the bible book of revelation 666 it's coming and if you accept that good night because you will be in in complete darkness and hellfire for eternity so you don't have a chance if you if you take it guys i'd rather die for in god's name and, or, and die, uh, you know, of starvation, it'll be tough because then your, your family will have to die of starvation too if you can't find out, find food. And that's why you really need to prep your butt off with food, guys. I mean it. Because do you want to watch your children and your, uh, your family starve to death in front of your eyes? Because that's the choice you got. It's either take this this mark of the beast damnation to your soul and damnation to your whole family by taking this mark or them starving to death in front of your face. I mean, 
that's why you want food stocks, guys, as much as you possibly can. And you just have to keep your ears, ears open. So if you have any money in stock market and banks, get it all out, get it in your possession, get these preps that you need to survive as long as you possibly can. And once this collapse happens, then your job is to bring others to Christ. And the, the food stocks that you have can help you do that. Bring others to Christ, guys. That's what it's all about. That's because you're serving God. Because that's what he wants. He wants all his children to live. All, every single soul on this earth, God loves everyone so great. That's what he wants. But it's our problem. We're the ones that turn our backs to God and want to do it our own way or think, think that this belief in this pagan beliefs or, or kneeling down to statues and all that stuff, idol worship, I mean, oh, it's, it's, it's a million different excuses and reasons to turn your back on God. And that's what Satan has done in this world, right? He's turned man's heart against God because he wants them all, all God's children to suffer and die and, and their souls to burn with him in, in the abyss so that's what it's all about guys so i'll let you go on that uh just keep your hopes up and obey 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 get on your knees repent that's what it's all about guys that's what it's all about people before what it's all about is is working so hard and then and your time off getting drunk and and uh, having a barbecue that's what it's all about. You know how many times people told me that? You know, and don't get me wrong, I was in that sinful world for a lot of different years, right? I had a spiritual struggle within my soul my whole life back and forth. And God will eventually bring you unto Him, especially, I mean, just look around, guys, wake up. Unless you want to listen to people that say, oh, it's safe and effective. What are you going to do? <laughs> so I love you guys with all my heart. And God bless you all. And uh, see you later on this channel. Please like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.